hey what it what to traders welcome back to my youtube channel so in today's video we are going to be looking at this very powerful forex trading concept that is definitely going to blow your mind guys so do watch till the end of this video in order for you to properly understand what i'm going to be unpacking in here guys without wasting any of your time let us get on with it right so guys you can already see that i already have my session breaks here or i already have my period separators here whereby you know they separate one full day this lines actually uh separate one full day that's also one full day that's one full day there is also one full day right there and remember that um we actually need these uh period separators to be able to to catch yesterday's high and yesterday's low guys right so for instance here let me just show you for instance guys there is yesterday's high right there right there is yesterday's high there is yesterday's high and as you guys can see that price came it took out yesterday's high and then it moved to the downward right so i've been actually um taking you guys on a journey with this trading strategy and in today's video guys i am going to be revealing some some even more interesting things about this trading strategy whereby you take your entry after price has taken yesterday's high or yesterday's low and remember guys that i told you that the time frame that you are supposed to be using on this uh, strategy for your entries is the one hour time frame why because this is an intraday trading strategy it is not a, a long-term trading strategy so we cannot be able to use the four hour time frame six hour time frame eight hour time frame so this is just an intraday or it's a day trading uh, 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 strategy right so basically and what you can do guys is if you can just somehow closely look here let us just grab this right so basically remember you can clearly see that we do have yesterday's high which there's yesterday's high right there guys let us just roll that there's this that is high right and you can clearly see that price came and then it took out yesterday's high and what i said to guys was that on your one hour time frame once price comes and then takes out yesterday's high and then form a bearish and gaffing candlestick pattern then that just signifies something guys right so you can clearly see that here price came took out yesterday's high and then it gave us a bearish and gaffing candlestick pattern right so now there are traders who aren't going to be able to to uh, to catch this kind of moves right so there are traders who are not going to be able to just uh, uh catch these kinds of moves why because price can actually do form that bearish and gaffing can stick pattern and then you can sell and then all of a sudden you know you can get stopped out right so for those that aren't able to catch these kinds of moves guys right so what you can do is you can just simply wait for price to just do all of these things to just simply come take out yesterday's high give you a a a, 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 a bearish and gaffing can stick pattern just like we see here on on your one hour time frame and then move to the down right so now what you can then do guys is you can just simply look at um the breaker right remember remember what i said a breaker is guys right so now a breaker let me just run it up for you guys so that you can understand for those that are watching this video for the first time right so now i said that we do have ourselves something that is called an order block in my definition an order block is the last opposite candle before a move to the upper or to the downward right so this was the last bearish candle right before a move heart before this move to the upper so this is going to be my what that is going to be my order block right so price came right price came it then retested my order block and then it moved to the upper right so last opposite candle before i move to the upper there's also my order block right there last opposite candle before i move to the upper there's also my order block you can clearly see that price moved away from my order block it came back and then it retested it and stuff like that so now as you guys can see that i've been drawing my order block but now what happens when price actually no more um respects your order block right so what happens when price doesn't come and what happens when price doesn't come and retest instead of retesting the order block what happens when price just breaks below the order block right so let us proceed i want to show you i want to show you something right i'm just doing a recap guys for those that are probably um are new right so here we do have order blocks we just have a bunch of order blocks here we have a lot of order blocks 
there's also an order block there's also an order block we have a lot of order blocks right we have ourselves a lot of order blocks a lot of order blocks right so now uh, we can clearly see guys that here we do have ourselves that last opposite kindly before this high was made where is that high there was the high right there was the high so now instead of price making that high and then coming back to retest this order block and then moving to the upper you can clearly see that price actually did what it actually gave us a breaker right so it broke this order block it it wasn't able to retest and then move to the upper that is when this order block is now called or what that is when this order block is now called a breaker right and then price is most likely to come back and do what and retest your breaker right just as you guys can see here price gave us a breaker it came back and then it retested our break i hope i'm not going too fast guys i hope i'm not going too fast right so let us just look at this one last example right so you can clearly see guys that we did have ourselves what that high right there right where was the last opposite kindly before that high it was this order block right and instead of price having to come back retest this order block and then continuously move to the upper it actually broke this order block right so now this order block is going to become our breaker now right and price is most likely to do what to come back and retest our breaker just as you guys can see here right price then came back and then price came back it retested our breaker and then it moved to the down what right so with this information how do we then make use of this information guys we can then make use of this information for for, for waiting for being like okay sharp price has just done what price has just taken yesterday's high it has given us our bearish and gaffing kind of stick pattern here right but we just want to give the market enough time for for it to really really move to the down so that we can be convinced that yes price is actually taking out stops from that high right so now what you can then do is you can just simply throw your breaker guys here is your breaker the last opposite kindly before what the last opposite kindly before that high right there right this was supposed to be an order block. It would, have be, it would have been an order block if price came here and then it moved to the upper. But you know, price just did what? It actually broke it, right? So now what you can then do is you can just simply throw your breaker, guys. And then you can wait for a retest on your breaker on the following day, right? Let us just wait for the following day. There we go. So you can clearly see that this is one full day whereby the whole action happened whereby price came back took out yesterday's high and then gave us a what a bearish and got thinking stick pattern right so now what you can then wait for guys is this look at what what then happened on the following day look at what then happened on the following day bam price came back to do what to retest your breaker you can enter probably somewhere there and then maybe you can put your stop loss way there right depending on your risk tolerance right or maybe you can put your stop loss above your breaker there right and then look at what then happened boom price then did what price then moved to the downward so instead of you entering here instead of you having to enter there after you have just gotten your bearish and gaffing candlestick pattern after price has taken out yesterday's high you can actually wait and then enter the following day when price is going to retest your what when price is going to retest your breaker guys right right guys so okay sharp let us then proceed let us then proceed because i want to make sure that you guys properly understand this right i want to make sure that you guys properly understand this okay sharp here we do have we can clearly see what happened here price came right there was yesterday's low there was yesterday's low price came took out yesterday's low here there right and then it gave us a what and then it gave us a bullish and gaffing can stick pattern on our one hour time frame right so now what is it that you then do guys let's just do this bullish and gaffing can stick pattern right and then price moved to the upper right so now which was the last opposite kindly that caused that move to the downward right that caused that low it was this let me just do that right so now which was the last opposite kindly that caused that low right so it was obviously this bullish kindly that actually became our breaker price was supposed to 
to to actually form that low come back here and then move to to the downward but instead it just broke above so this makes now that that order block our breaker so you wait for this day to close you wait for this day to finish right you wait for this day to do what to actually finish there we go so now this is one full day you then wait to enter the following day right so what is that that's going to happen price is going to come back to your what price is going to come back to your breaker as you guys can see what happened here price came back to my breaker it retested my breaker and then it did what and then it moved to the upward simple as it is so right now we are just running away from entering here we are just running away from probably entering somewhere there or maybe somewhere there we are just running away from entering there because you know we just want to give the market enough time instead you may want to enter on the following day when price is going to be retesting your breaker because most of the time price is just going to come back and retest your breaker and then you can look for your entry there right simple as it is so all of this is happening on your one hour time frame guys your breaker has to be on your one hour time frame right so simple as it is guys right so that's it for this bro hope you did find value if you did do smash on that like button for me see you on the next one goodbye cool.